you make interesting vibrating rhythmic sounds and actually I'll tell you something interesting about this this little musical instrument was the second most popular musical instrument in early America second only to the fiddle the average person owned one of these and uh, of course it, it faded into uh, into the past uh, sometime in the in the early 1900s uh, but this is an amazing instrument with an amazing history and in my book in the study guide it tells you where you can read about it where you can obtain it where you can go on the internet to uh, uh, to learn more about it thank you yeah you're welcome and that's just controlled by breath and timing. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is a little of this Southern Appalachian dance in all of us? Well, actually, uh, I do. You know, one of the things I've noticed over the years is that whenever you go someplace and you hear old-time music, you hear that fiddle and banjo, and uh, or you hear bluegrass music, mm -hmm. people they they people get happy. People will start tapping their feet and thumping their hands or thumping the table. Some people can't stand to just sit anymore when they hear this music. They need to just get up and move. I, I think this this music, if you look around when this music is being played, the, the audience, whether they're little kids or older folks, they're smiling, they look happy, and this music and dance brings joy to people. And I think that uh, it strikes a chord in most people. And so, yes, I, I think that... Um, there's a connection between this, this type of music and dance and, and, and many, many people. Well, I know when I read a section here, which I won't reveal what that section was, but I sure felt like getting up and dancing when that person in the character was getting up and dancing. So Good. Good. I hope the book has that kind of effect on, on a lot of people. I'm sure it will. That was one of the reasons I, one of my motivations was, uh, you know, when the school shows, the, the children uh, seem to enjoy the story so much, and I was trying to figure out how can I... How can I, you know, get the word out even more? You know, clogging is really spread across the United States and then through Europe and other countries. Uh, but I wanted to be able to tell something more about the history and the cultural roots that come from America. And that was one of my motivations for writing this book, was I thought maybe I can spread that kind of information a, a, a lot more than just me doing individual school, uh, school shows here and there. And so... Um, I hope, I hope I'm successful in that. I hope I can turn on a lot of young people to this form of music and dance. Okay. Steve, this book is being marketed both as a teaching guide and a story for young adults. Did you have a readership in mind as you were putting it together? Yeah, initially, you know, uh, it came out of the school shows I do, and mainly third, fourth, and fifth grade. Um, I was targeting uh, this mainly to young people in, in uh, later elementary school years, third, fourth, fifth grade. Uh, but as I got more into the, writing the book and I got more interested in uh, some of the historical things I was learning myself, the book just started basically writing itself in many ways. And I find that not only young people, but uh, uh, older folks as well, adults uh, of many different ages, seem to get a lot out of, out of the book. They find it interesting and informative. And um, apparently, you know, they're learning some things that they may not have known before. And some of them are actually getting excited about the music and dance, and that's that's very uh, rewarding for me. If there was to be a movie, do you think Journey to the Mountain would be better as a Pixar animation or portrayed out with people playing the characters like in the Great Epic? Well, I mean, I it would I would be incredibly surprised and flattered if anyone uh, was interested in turning this into a movie. I think it would be fabulous. Uh, the movie could be a great adventure filled with all kinds of historical uh, information, and uh, I think it, it could appeal to a wide audience. I think with the little kids, uh, you know, you can get it on one of the cable networks as an animation, and that would probably be uh, a good way to, you know, connect with them possibly. And But I think for adults, you know, a regular old movie with human beings walking around would be a great way to tell this story. <laughs>